you think? Good. Good. Morning, guys. It's uh, Thursday, June 15th, 2017, and I'm headed into work for the day. Um, mentioned it was going to happen yesterday, and guess what happened today? Ether the ether bubble popped and uh, it's uh, not looking good so I um, woke up this morning logged into my Blockfolio app my portfolio is down uh, well about two thousand dollars overnight uh, it appears as if Ether dropped $70, $69 in the last day. Uh, multiply that by what? 12, 12.5 like I have. And we're looking at um, 750 bucks right there. Swarm. Swarm, I believe, is based on the Ether blockchain. Swarm is down $1.22. So once ether drops, everything drops. Um, so that is a thousand dollars. Let's see what else. Oh, Ripple. I don't know what's going on with Ripple. Ripple dropped almost six cents, five point nine cents in the last day. So it was almost up to thirty cents. It was doing really good. It was starting to rally. And now it's down to 24 cents. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, that's down hundreds of dollars. So I'm not going to panic, nothing like that. I mean, I, I mentioned yesterday that this was going to happen. Um, here's, here's my course of action. First off, I want to see if Ripple is based on the Ether blockchain. If it is, as soon as I can get my money out of it, I'm done with it. Like... I just, I didn't really think about it too much before. I Okay, so how do I word this? All of these ICOs that I'm buying into are based off of the Ether blockchain. So I mentioned before that these ICOs should add value to the underlying cost of the Ether that it, that it required to, to buy in. So, you know, if it was $10 worth of Ether to buy in, and then the ICO was worth uh, $15, that $5 is the extra added on value. So I mentioned that, I've been talking about that for less than a week or so. What I, what I didn't foresee, and, and I kind of maybe thought about this last night, was once Ether drops, all of my ICOs are gonna drop. <clears throat> not, not the end of the world, I mean, it's gonna come back, it'll bounce back and, and whatever, it, it just might take some time. But um, I've been talking about diversity and um, diversifying my, my crypto and all that. So that's kind of the big reason why I did the BitConnect yesterday. I was like, man, I, I need to start spreading out my, my portfolio amongst various coins that aren't so dependent on each other. The ICOs are fun. Yeah, those are great for a quick buck, you know, make some quick cash, whatever. But uh, I cannot be so heavily reliant on one coin or ether. So I think what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead with the BitConnect um, regiment that I was, um, I think I might have mentioned it yesterday. So my thought is if I, if, it, if it's true what they tell me that I can make at the end of my 299 day loan, if I can make um, just over around $600 profit on my 200 and something dollar loan, if that is true, I like that. So let's say like when my loan is up that month, for instance, it'll be April of next year. I will have made 600 bucks that month, you, I guess you could say, more or less if I hold all of my interest payments. So where I'm going with this is, I was like, well, I like that. I like having 600 bucks a month. 
uh, for not really having to do anything. So you make the loan and, and that's it. Like I don't have to watch the market, I don't have to stress out about anything, it's guaranteed, more or less. I mean, I don't know, I'm new to this, just started yesterday. I'm talking about BitConnect. So I had this bright idea, I said, why don't I do a like $220 loan once a month? After a 12 month period of doing those monthly loans, I will be making, let's say about $600 a month in interest payments. Um, that'll be coming to me each month. That's a, that's a car payment. That's a nice car, car payment. That's like a $35,000 car, car payment. So, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna try to make that happen. So, you know, obviously I need to scrape together a couple hundred bucks a month. And not not to mention, so so like once I do this, or if I can do this, every month I'll be actually getting like more like nine hundred dollars total. So that so when I said six hundred, that didn't include the original investment that I get paid back after those that time period. So that was my thought, and I was trying to last night figure out if I should um, buy, let's say, like two thousand dollars worth of BCC now, and then use their tokens over the next ten months to to make ten different loans. Or if I should just do it $200 each month and buy in at the current rate or whatever. So, um, I think my, my, I think what I came up with was now would probably be better to buy, especially if I'm speculating that the coins or the value of BCC, which is BitConnect coin, um, will go up. So that means if I buy $2,000 worth at $50 per BCC, that's 40 coins. And then if the uh, value goes up, I'm gonna have some extra coins left over after that 10 month period. Or, or I, I did math for 10 months. Um, I already did one month, so another 10 months would be 11 total, so it's almost a year. So, and then maybe I could devise a way or come up with some um, more money. And then after a year's period, um, if, if the interest payments are still like around 1% a day, I'll um, start investing every two weeks versus every four weeks and then get paid 600 bucks or whatever it is every, every two weeks. We're gonna see how this goes. We're gonna hold the course. I don't know, I've never dealt with a program like this, so I'm presuming that once the market cap gets higher and higher, that the interest payments are gonna get lower and lower or something, like people are gonna um, not be getting as much payback, but we'll, we'll see. So that's kind of my thought, but that will allow me to spread out my um, portfolio, and then I could uh, most likely cash that into Bitcoin, like when I get paid or whatever. So Bitcoin is still the king, man, even though uh, Ether's running, running and gunning it down. Um, but, uh, that's, that's my thought. That's my thought. So I like the idea of making some guaranteed income. I can see the allure of like Genesis mining and some of these other uh, companies that you pay them a set amount of money and then they, um, you get, you buy like hash power or whatever. Um, I, you know, I, that's nice. That's nice. I, I mentioned just like two days ago that I'm a big conservative person and I like steady paychecks. So if these loans work out, I might be doing a lot more of these uh, loans. So stay tuned for more. All right, here we are. I wonder if I should have put the, put the BIOS back in auto before I swap this because now I'm not going to be able to see it if it doesn't work on Gen 2. All right, Luke's mining rig here. What's the specs on this? These are 1070s? V6. Uh, by turbo? V5S4. V5S4 by turbo. Have the fan spinning? <gasps> I have display. There you go. So you just plug your monitor into the card? Yeah. Oh, those cards light up pretty cool. That's nice. Yeah, and they like, they're RGB. It's retarded. 
the the LEDs or whatever, you can change them. Yeah, that's cool. You can do strobe modes. Oh, right. you see that? It's flickering. The unboxing. Man, dude, they got a lot of protective. It's annoying. Like, wow. Jesus Christ. These kids like to keep their graphics cards out. These things are pretty, though. I must say. Bag plates. That's probably why that one's running so cool upstairs. Why? Because you didn't uh, take the plastic off? Alright, so we're using. He's using risers. These are USB. Are they just USB 2? So basically, you plug the card into the riser. The I guess the riser plug. What does the riser plug into the motherboard? The power feed. You're you right, have, dude. This shit sucks. I only got three, three cables with dual eights. So that shit's on low power. I wouldn't even think they would turn on. I was able to run my 480 without plugging any external power into it. Like it legit worked. I was like, oh, all right. Oh, you're over here. There's six plus twos. Hmm. Oh, yeah, those kind of suck. Yeah, like pinch it. Should have plugged them in before you plug that end in, because that's the hard end. I use extension cables, dude. Really? <laughs> I don't recommend it. Oh, man. Definitely a point of failure. Got a headlights? Yeah. Nice. What's the stats on it? V twin. V twin. Twenty two horsepower. Hydrostatic. Here we are behind the scenes at Luke's last garage. Three hundred man hours. What's a run on them? Eighty five. Ether. Eighty five. Ether. Ether runs on ether. All right, so we're checking bios here. Luke's uh, just entered Tweaker's Paradise. Thunderbird. PCI Express Native Power Management. So the problem is he's got only two cards being recognized. You can see them above his head there. There's a third card off to the side connected. You can't get the third card. What is to pick PCH, up. DMI, ASPM, and ASPM? I'll have to Google that. All right. I just saw something over here. Check this out. Whatever you had before is fine. All right, so Luke had bought this rack here, and I was like, dude, that's not going to be big enough. He's like, oh, I just need it to hold only network gear because I'm a network guy or something. And uh, look at this thing. Isn't it cute? That's so cute. It's a 5U. No, sorry, 6U cabinet. Ah, yes. Uh, and uh, nothing in it. See ya. <laughs> oh no. Just brick my OS. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Look, can we get a tour of your of your wiring closet? Huh? Don't step on that car, dude. <laughs> Are you gonna step on that? Hey, this car drives smash. Crunch. Can we get a tour of your data center? I mean, your, your wiring closet here? Yeah. All right. What do you got going on in over here? Yeah, a little, little taste of this, a little taste of that. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's get this. Did card you enable seat. power booting? Can I have a flashlight again? Yeah. So right. auto. Or what do you think here? Because right now they're all in Gen 3. I don't know. I don't know anything about that setting. I've never even heard of that. I'm mining on fucking 10 year old servers, dude. Let's just go auto to start. Start with what we know. Are you filming me? Yeah. Make sure you're doing this right. 
all right, there it is.